Okay, folks, now it's going to start the groundwork today because the other part, I got it started where the horse is relaxed now and he trusts me. And so we're starting over. And as it turns out, there's been a lot of emails that are kind of in this situation with horses for whatever reason. So I'm glad I'm doing it this way. So the object today is to get him to go between me and the fence, which means he's going to disengage forehand, hindquarter, and change eyes. If you'll notice, the fence is flat here, and there's a curve here. So if you got a horse that's pushy, you do it here, and that'll make their rib go out farther. I'm going to show this horse direction and impulsion from here. Now I'm going to switch hands, pick up the other eye, and step him over. See how he's pushing on me? Okay, I don't move, he does. Now the thing that white people don't, can't do, it's called coordination, under, separate, under, separate. It's not this. Bueno, pretend you're... Leave. Here it comes. Now see how his head's high again? Because we're doing something different. He literally doesn't know how to do this. So I'll switch hands, bump, pick up the eye, and he crossed in front that time. Now he wants to be with me and push on me. That's that hooking on thing. That's why if you overdo the hooking on, you can't get him out of your back pocket. There, now he's gonna crowd me on the right eye. So I'm gonna be there on this right eye and tell him you need to get away from me. Left eye. Right eye, step over, almost. Crossed over behind, switching eyes. Left eye, now I'm prepared for the right eye this time. Pushed him out of the way. Left. Don't push on me, now watch the left front foot. Boom, he went the right direction. I'm going to slow it down now. I went into chaos mode just so he could start paying attention to me. Here it comes. Now see how he went over there? I never backed up. It's his job to get out of my way. Now you actually made contact with his eye too, right? Because I think I bumped him right under the eye. Now, here it comes. Leave. Direction, impulsion. Direction, impulsion. Direction, impulsion. Raise my hand. If I raise my hand, I'll disengage the hindquarter because I'm pulling on the nose. Get it? Now, right front should step to the right. Left front should cross. Boom, it crossed. Now, when this is over, he's going to do it on his own. He's not going to stop. Direction, impulsion. Raise my hand, hind quarter, pick up the other eye, forehand, and go. Hind quarter, off eye, go. Switching eyes, push on the eye, there. Don't crowd me. Your hand in the eye is what makes this happen. Eye, eye. Follow through with both hands on the right side on this horse. It could be the left side on another horse. Stay off of me. He's a big horse, but I don't care. He can do this. Bump. Now I'll breathe him through. <sighs> Different deal. I'm offering the best. He's stuck. Here it comes. 
I'll be ready to block the eye. Right there. Let's go. That's perfect. One. Hind quarter. Eye. Eye. Walk. Disengage. Exhale. Impulsion at the same time. Eye. Hind quarter. Forehand. Now I'm going to try to just offer it to him. Right now. Can't make it. He knows what to do now. In other words, I don't want to have to be directing him all the time. I want him to move off a of feel. That's an intentional step right there. Hind quarter, forehand over. Don't push on me. Hind quarter, forehand over. I'm ready for the forehand this time. Don't ever let him run off. Here it comes right now. Go. You're fine. Go. This is a brace. Now watch. Switching hands. Can't make it. Now the bad side is making it. In other words, the right side's making it. Now the left side's braced. Through, through. Switching, stepping over, through, disengaging, through. I'm letting him go too far. I don't want him going behind me. This will make him step over better. Hind quarter. Hind quarter now. and direction. Remember, you're not messing up. The horse just hasn't made it yet. Watch his mouth. That's a nervous horse because the tongue came out of the mouth. Licking her lips is not this. This is nerves. Here it comes. Brace, you're fine, here, I'm, I've got a tight space because I want him to start getting on his hindquarter, I don't want to give him 40 acres to do this, there he stepped over, he knows what to do now, hindquarter, forehand, Good, hind quarter, forehand, good, he made it on his own, hind quarter, forehand, made it on his own without me, disengaging, off eye, make it, there you go, you're fine, now it's coming. Now stop him. And drop his skull. Now what he's doing, the brace deal, is just simply a brace. It's no not no big deal. Still bothered? Today I didn't put the cricket on. Had the cricket been on his head, you wouldn't see that. He would be rolling the cricket. If I put it on now, you would not see the tongue. That's how I know how this stuff works. Center, left brain, right brain, melting the skull down. Now, here we go. 
This is no different than laying the reins on the neck. Here it comes. Here it comes. Thank you so much. That's why I stop. Hind quarter, off eye, stepping over, stepping over, hind quarter. Here is direction. You can make it. There, that's the way I wanted. Hind quarter. Okay, now I'm going to allow him to go all the way around. And this is a horse walking in a circle. I'll set him up over here. Now let me show you how you don't do groundwork. You don't take a 20 foot lead and walk with a horse trying to teach him something. As far as the horse is concerned, he's just simply leaving. Okay. Let me show you why. When I do groundwork, where I hold the lead rope is the exact same distance as a rein. If I'm back here, horse is just mindlessly wandering. It's called lunging. That's the exact same length. Now, you need to go to the fence, and then I'm gonna let him go all the way around me. You're fine, let's go around now watch my hand closed and bump hip disengage the hind quarter now i'm concentrating on that that and that those are the three things that will make this horse round this skull has to do this for this to be right if the skull is bent to the outside, it's called a team roping horse. Go. You know what that means now. Every time. Don't push on me. I'll push on the rib if he makes the circle smaller. It has to be the same distance from me to the fence as it is on the outside. I know now to push on the rib now Keep him that same distance. Keep an open hand. You'll have a light horse when you ride him. Now I'm going to raise. Disengage the hind quarter. He knows to go away from me. And stay off of me. So we're, getting, we're taking care of bending the spine and changing eyes. Now you notice I'm staying in the same place. Under. Leave. Thank you. Light. People forget and they just hold the rope. Well, you got to be paying attention. There's the rib. Jaw's still sticking at me. Nothing personal. Bump. Push. Bump. Jaw just moved about a quarter of an inch. Now what I'm doing is... In the past, when he went in a circle, he was on the end of a lunge line, so his head was always turned out. So I'm trying to break him of that habit. From the sky, his spine will look like a banana. Under, reach. There, his jaw's starting to give. Raise my hand. Now by raising my hand, I'm disengaging the hindquarter. See this? This is me knocking the hindquarter out of gear. Okay. When I teach a horse to slide stop, I will be raising my hand. It's gonna put the weight on the hindquarter. So now, We're in a situation for him to start to listen to me. You need to go that way. 
we're on our third thing here. He knows how to yield to me. The object of the game is to not take my foot off the panel. Now I'm going to send him the other way. Direction, impulsion. When I raise my hand, he's going to disengage his hindquarter. And I'm going to say, you really need to move that hindquarter. Right hind is stuck, hand pow. Bump. When this is over, his right rib will touch the panel. And leave. Here it comes. You need to leave. If you have to leave the panel, so be it. Raising my hand. Hindquarter stepped over farther. Leave. Now I'm going to anticipate it this time. I'll drive the hindquarter. Drive it. There it is. Release. I'm setting him up to pick us up off the fence. Anywhere you're at in the United States. Now, here it comes. Can't make it? No problem. Driving, 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 brace, driving, driving, release. I don't want you in my lap. Back up. Now the ears are going to alternate, just like that. That's processing. Head goes down, he's back on the payroll. Now, uh, now watch his right ear. That's me reaching for the rope. Tip of the ear is the pupil of the eye. He's getting calmer now because he's starting to process this and it's not a, it's nothing, no big deal. So here it comes. You need to leave. Right now is when you don't get discouraged. You need to leave. Now if you would, go as far over there as you can with your hip. Now Mr. Dorrance had a fly rod with a flag on it. Adios. Adios. Que vaya bien. Adelante. Raising, hind quarter. Stuck. Stuck. Left hind. There. I took my leg off the panel because I have to get this left hind to get the brace out of it. There. Where were we? Oh yeah. Now remember, I did this in increments. I didn't do this first, I did this last. Leave, disengage. Remember me raising my hand on the hind quarter? You need to leave. You need to go. Thank you so much. So the brace is over there, and tomorrow it could be over here. Here it comes. You know what to do, horse. You already know what to do. Walk all the way over there. I'm offering him a chance to make it. I'm offering him a chance to make it. Right, the left hind, watch the left hind, that's where the brace is. That's where the brace is. And don't ever take any of this personal.
10 minutes of this and go ride. One last time, if it's correct, or at least a try. Here it comes. Now, you know what to do. Go over and search the fence. When you got the saddle on, you'll hear the stirrup touch the fence. Thank you so much. That was him intentionally doing the correct thing. Remember about perfection. I'm not going to make him touch the panel every single time. When it's over, he'll touch the panel every single time. Now, impulsion, impulsion, raising my hand, impulsion, impulsion, try, brace, try, 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 left hind, try. Remember, they can vote with one foot. Try. Thank you so much. Never take this personal. That's what horses do. That's called a brace. The reason for groundwork is it's so you can accomplish this without pulling on their mouth with a bit. That's what it's for. He's contemplating his sins. Now, there's a man named J-A-R-L is his first name, and either he can't spell or I can't pronounce it. Nerdrum is his last name. The video, the email he sent me, this is exactly what your horse needs, what I'm doing. Now, there's good news, folks. Don Allen, northeast of Billings, Montana, sent me a video of his eight-year-old son sitting on his good bay horse, Reins laying over the neck, no hands, and he rode the horse through an obstacle course off his skeleton. So there's hope for America. He turned, he disengaged, he stopped, he stepped in a little kid's swimming pool and out of it again, all off his seat. So since I'm the coffin cheater, in a few years you need to hunt this young man up. His dad's name is Don Allen. Don told me about getting a horse from the Hoots. And the Hooterite people up there where we live, he and I both know the same country. They raised horses that would slap you right on the forehead. And most of them went to the Miles City Bucking Horse Sale. Anyway, he was just sharing with me, and we know the same country. That's kind of the update. Now this horse, the next time I do this, which could be tomorrow, this afternoon, or three days from now, he will have figured it out. And then he's gonna say no, or he's gonna say sure. Thank you. I would like to do a close up of you changing your hands with the... Oh, the white boy deal? Yeah, the white boy. Okay. Once again, horse, popper. Under, go. Oh, look at him. Under, go. Anything else is wallering. 